So now let's talk about the big application, and that is the pharmaceutical industry and chromatography. Pharmaceutical industry is huge in chromatography because in that industry, they must, by law, analyze their raw materials to prove that there's nothing bad in it. They must analyze their intermediates to prove that there's nothing bad there. And they must, uh, they must analyze their final product to prove that they put in the correct amount of material and that there's no impurities. So at every step along the way, um, pharmaceutical industry relies on chromatography. Now, most pharmaceuticals are soluble. If anything is soluble, then we run them by HPLC. By definition, if a, uh, if a pill or a, a drug is meant for a human being, I'm made out of water, right? I'm 70% water. So it better be water soluble. It better be able to dissolve in, 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 in the stomach or in the intestines. So if it is soluble, then we want to run HPLC on it. But we do have big GC applications in the pharmaceutical industry as well. In fact, one of the um, more troublesome things that pharmaceutical people deal with is uh, residual volatiles. So residual solvents left over in their, uh, in, in their pharmaceuticals. The way the FDA looks at it is, is they say, hey, we know somewhere along the way you had volatile compounds, you had some hexane in your reaction. You have to prove that it's all gone. So to do volatiles in a non-volatile product is a little challenging. So we use a technique called headspace gas chromatography. So the petroleum industry um, may have been responsible for starting chromatography, but my opinion, the pharmaceutical industry is the industry that is keeping it going. It is our biggest customer um, and some of those challenging applications. So if you need help in pharmaceutical analysis, you know where to come. We've been helping people for decades and we would love to help you as well here at Axiom.